So, hi everyone. How to make um, Need for Speed Carbon run on minus 10 in widescreen. First up, um, to, make window, to make it run on minus 10, you need to open your installation folder. That's normally um, on your C drive and programs. Then electronic arts, but I um, have it installed on my um, D drive, so it's a little bit different, but it shouldn't matter. So first up, we need to use Windows compatibility mode. I already apologize, my Windows installation is on German, but that should not matter because I have linked a guide in the description how to use it in English. But basically, um, you have to you have to make a right click on it, and the third option from the top. Click that, and then you have to wait a bit. Then if the lower one and the first checkbox has to be marked and click on next and then here it basically says um, which version, which previous version of Windows is supported by this program. You have to click on Windows XP, so respect 3 as I already clicked here and go next and then you have to click test program. So and the program will launch, you can launch it and then close it again and then um, go on and I can close it because I already did that but you can then click to finish and it should work. So next up, um, there's a little bug there with, um, if you do that, um, the graphical settings are resetting every time you restart the game but your control settings do not so if you have connected any um, other device like a controller or a steering wheel those uh, controls should be the same every time at least it was for me with the Xbox 360 controller no problem there so next up how to make it run in 1080p it's a pretty straight up um, process you first have to download a few things um, first up we have to go to this website here this is a uh, I think it's actually official EA side and you have to the patch for InfoSpeed Carbon 1.4 uh, you have to see if you if you have the collector's edition or the normal edition this is for collector's edition and this is for the normal edition then you have to select your language um, whatever you have for me it was English after the download is finished you can open it of course and then you have this patch you just have to drag it into the, into your installation folder. I already did that. Then you have to execute it. Click yes and a batch file will run and install all the things you need. Pretty easily. You can install this twice, it doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter. And then you're good. Once this is installed, if you restart the game, it will not um, it will not say anything different. If you start with st still say 1.2 but it doesn't matter it actually works with the widescreen wide screen fix. So next up we need to get the widescreen fix. This is from the widescreenfix.com um, or something. Widescreen fix forum and uh, you have to go here. Yeah, actually a list of um, all the older non uh, widescreen capable games um, from Need for Speed everything from underground one to one uh, to carbon if you want to download it here really easily you can download it from github or it's actually GitHub, yes here the zip file not the other ones and i'll open that one as well and just drag those scripts and input 8 dll dot dll into your folder then there you have a scripts folder here scripts folder and in the ini file you can uh, edit this with notepad or whatever you want and you have to set your resolution to uh, 1080p or 4k or whatever your screen is running and just uh, save it and then you can launch the game and i will show you how this looks in just a second <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see, the game now runs in 1080p and the reflections of the cars are very nice in this game. It's, it's never, um, never shows in the low resolution, it only shows in a high resolution 1080p. And the game also um, runs in 60Hz or even in 120 or 144 it doesn't matter. In my case it runs 144Hz, which is uh, quite nice to play in such a high frame rate. But of course you have to have the monitor for it. And it's quite cool. So all the features work in the game, all the cutscenes run well. Yeah, they don't run well if you um, do not fix for Windows 10, because uh, it will crash in cutscenes sometimes. But with this fix it absolutely runs beautiful. And it's a much better experience to play this in um, 1080p or higher resolutions than that. Um, which is very nice, so I hope you liked the video. Have fun and play Zone for Speed Carbon. Heading north, get into the area on non-priority calls, please clear and head up that way.